Hello and welcome back. I'm Sarah Miga, your go-to real estate expert and associate broker of Miga Homes with Keller Williams Ann Arbor. It's time for the next video in my latest series, Buying New Construction. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of building a new home, so you know what to expect with this exciting journey. So without further ado, my question for the day, what are the steps for building a new home? Now, there is a lot that we can cover on this topic, but the goal is to create a quick and easy guide that you can refer back to without issue. Please know that this list is meant to be used as a big picture guide. So step one, visit the model home with your realtor. Step two, price out the floor plan options and lot. Step three, negotiate any terms and plan your budget. Step four, if the builder requires it, get your pre-qualification. Step five, sign the purchase agreement and give the builder a required deposit. Step six, Finalize your pre-approval for the builder's requirements. Step seven, review the blueprints with the construction team. Step eight, set up your appointment with Design Studio to price out your interior selections, lighting and electrical, and give the builder the required deposit for Design Studio. Once the above items are completed, then the build process will generally begin. The home will be built with the following timeline considerations. The foundation. The foundation of your home is a critical element in the building process because it is what holds up the entire structure. Constructed correctly, it prevents future problems that can affect your home's safety and efficiency. After the ground is excavated, forms will be built with framing lumber that you can clean and reuse for framing and then concrete is poured into each section. You'll need to decide what type of foundation you want, basement, slab, or crawl space, and make sure it works with your lot. During this time, municipal utility connections to the site are put into place and or well and septic systems are installed. Step two, framing. After the foundation is poured and set, the form boards are removed and framing of the house begins. Just as our skeleton serves as the structure for our bodies, the frame of a house is the underlying structure of the home. As the framing progresses, you'll see the layout of your home unfold and you'll be able to identify different rooms, doorways, and windows. If your home seems smaller than you imagined at this point, don't panic, it's simply an illusion. Step three, inspections and framework. Inspections are a very important part of the home construction process and ensure that every element of construction is done correctly. After the initial inspections, your builder will ask you to walk through your home. At this point, you can visualize what your dream home will basically look like because the walls and trusses will be framed and the roof sheathing will be installed. Step four, house wrap. Certain climates have a high risk of moisture damage, which can cause mold and wood rot. Therefore, a protective barrier known as a house wrap is installed to prevent the structure of your home and its interior from getting wet, growing mold, or rotting. The house wrap ensures that all the moisture will remain outside the home. Step five, enclosing your home. Once framing has passed inspection, your builder will begin enclosing your home and install siding, shingles, roofing system, any brick or stone details, your interior or exterior design requires in the windows and doors. Windows and doors are very visible features of your home, both inside and out. So you want to choose and invest wisely. Make sure your windows and doors have the performance, durability, and energy efficiency that your geographical location warrants. Step six, mechanical insulation. This stage is critical and occurs before the installation of sheetrock. This is the building stage where mechanical components and wiring are installed Venting, ductwork, water heaters, and the HVAC system are also installed. Step seven, insulation. Insulation is an important factor that determines your home's energy and cost efficiency. When installed adequately and properly in the floors, walls, and ceilings, this relatively inexpensive product can save money and conserve energy by preventing heat and AC from escaping your home. Step eight, interior finishes. Once your home is framed and wrapped and all the mechanicals have been installed, Sheetrock is put in place to form the walls. The builder will start installing drywall and texturing it to prepare for painting and interior finishes. Step nine, install exterior walkways and driveway. Interior doors, baseboards, door casings, window sills, moldings, stair balusters, and other decorative trim are installed, along with cabinets, vanities, and fireplace mantles. Generally, exterior driveways, walkways, and patios are formed at this stage if applicable. Step 10, Install hard surface flooring, countertops, and grating. Ceramic tile, vinyl, and wood flooring are installed as well as countertops. Exterior finished grating is completed to ensure proper drainage away from the home and prepare your yard for landscaping. Step 11, 
install mirrors, shower doors, and finish flooring, landscaping, and all remaining fixtures. At this point, the goal is to finish all of the remaining items and get them looking clean and neat. You will still see a few things left that need to be addressed, but the builder will definitely take care of that. Step 12, Certificate of Occupancy Inspection. A building cold official completes a final inspection and issues a certificate of occupancy. If any defects are found during this inspection, a follow-up inspection may be scheduled to ensure that they've been corrected. Step 13, finishing stages and moving. The final walkthrough is the last step before you move into your beautiful new home. Turn on all the appliances, lights, the HVAC system, faucet, showers, flush toilets, check electrical outlets. Check to see that all your cabinets, doors, and windows open, close, and lock properly. Also make sure there aren't any major defects like cracks, scratches, and or gaps in the floors. If there are any issues, this is the time to notify your builder and have everything resolved before you close on your home. Now that I've shared with you the steps required to build a new home, hopefully you understand the process better and can be prepared to make a decision on whether building a new home is right for you. If you have questions about this topic or anything else involving real estate or building and buying a new construction property, reach out to me today as I would be happy to help and be a resource for you. In addition, I create custom moving plans for each of my clients up to a year in advance so that we can be fully prepared and partners in this journey. So if you think you're within a year of making a move, reach out at the information below and set up a consultation today. Plus, if I'm not able to personally assist you, I'm part of a global real estate company and can refer you to a similarly qualified agent anywhere in the world. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel today and tune in weekly to learn more about all things real estate. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.